What do steroids in baseball have in common with climate change? Well, imagine a baseball player who's been taking steroids. This baseball player steps to the plate and hits a home run. And yes, the question was that home run due to the steroids. If you look at the number of home runs he hits over a season when he's taking steroids, and compare that to a previous season when he wasn't taking steroids, it is only then that you can figure out that the steroids have made him more able to hit home run because it's made him stronger and the chances of him hitting home run are greater. So by adding just a little bit more to those naturally occurring steroids in the human body, we change the background base state of our systems. Okay, got it. But a lot of bad things happen when you take steroids, right? The greenhouse gases that we're adding to the atmosphere from the burning of fossil fuels are the steroids of the climate system. The atmosphere has very small amounts of greenhouse gases that occur naturally. So by adding just a little bit more of those greenhouse gases by the burning of fossil fuels to the air, we change the background state of the climate system. We increase the temperatures just a little bit, but that increase of temperatures is enough to shift the odds toward a much greater chance for extreme heat events and extreme precipitation events. Normally, you'd expect record lows and record highs to balance out over time, but now we're getting almost three record highs for every record low. So just as a baseball player on steroids can occasionally strike out, You're out. The climate system with increased greenhouse gases can still experience record cold temperatures, but the chances of record high temperatures are still much greater. And that's what steroids in baseball have to do with climate change. To find out more about climate change and extreme weather, check out ucar.edu slash atmosnews.